Hey, hey, welcome back to Just a Little Kick. And today's video is gonna be part of my Thanksgiving series. I'm gonna show you how to make a super easy, delicious, very beautiful holiday drink. So, it's gonna be perfect for Thanksgiving, it'll be perfect for Christmas if you have guests over for that. So, um, let's get started. Okay, so these are the ingredients I'm gonna be using for the punch today. Uh, so first thing, cranberries, of course, gives it such, such pretty uh, color. And they also add just a little kick. Did you get that? Get it? Okay. Uh, pumpkin pie spice, apple cider, ginger ale, some cinnamon sticks, uh, these gala apples, some oranges, and I've just got a couple green apples here. All right. So first, we are going to get the syrup started on here so first you just put a cup of sugar in here and then add a cup of water you add the cup of water and then you're just gonna let it come to a boil or well, not really it doesn't even have to necessarily be a boil but all the sugar needs to be dissolved Okay, so now that all the sugar has dissolved and it's, you know, to a roiling boil, we're gonna go ahead and dump these in. So, there we go. We just toss them to coat. Since that's in there, we're gonna turn off the eye. And then since it's, oops, it's been coated good, we're gonna just kinda drain it. This is a slotted spoon. So we're just kinda letting it drain. And then, we're gonna put it over here. This is just wax paper. Let's eat it. Uh-uh-uh, it can't be eaten just yet. Hold on. It's Okay, so these cranberries have been sitting here for 30 minutes. Um, now they're like super, super sticky because of that simple syrup. And all you have to do to make them sugared is this right here. You just pour the sugar over. And then you're also going to kind of like toss it a little bit. And here's the timer. You'll let that sit for another 30 minutes. Okay, so a lot of people will actually have these as a, I don't wanna call it an appetizer, but I guess like as a little side dish or a side dessert. Um, people use this on Thanksgiving. As you can see, they look really pretty. And I'm sure you could have this actually at Christmas too, cause actually this sugar uh, resembles snow a little bit. You just wanna kinda roll them a little bit more in the sugar. And look how pretty that is. Put these in like a really cute serving dish and you got it. So that's it. You just let it sit there. Let it sit for another 30 minutes and then I'll be back. All right, so it's hours later now. The cranberries are good to go. We're just gonna start slicing up the fruit and getting everything prepared. And then um, I'm gonna show you on this plate here. I'm just gonna make a little mixture of not cinnamon sugar but pumpkin spice sugar to uh, put around the rim of the glass and it's not necessary but no no scratch that it is necessary okay if we're gonna do it big we just gonna do it no purpose in playing small let's just do it it's gonna taste really good when we're drinking it it's just gonna be amazing so let's get started and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on there and I've already <clears throat> wet like the rim. I'm gonna wet it again. I already wet, wet the rim of the glass, but since it's kind of dry now, I'm gonna wet it again, so. And then we just put some of that in there. Here we 
we go. Let's chop up this fruit. Girlfriends, girlfriends. So I don't wanna be a girlfriend, girlfriend. No, 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 no. I don't really have time for you, boy. I don't wanna hear anything more. Boy, you really need to understand that I'm not your girlfriend. So let's pour that in. Oops. So I'm just gonna use this whole gallon here. And this is like really cute. I got this from Walmart. I can't remember if I told you guys that. It was less than $20. It is glass. Um, so it's pretty good quality. going to add a few shakes of this pumpkin pie spice here just to give it a little more flavor Okay, now look how pretty this looks. I'm just gonna put a few of those sugared cranberries in here because I don't want them to get lost. Um, I'm gonna put way more in the actual glass itself, but just a few, just so it looks pretty. And I don't want all the sugar to soak off either. Oops. Lid. How cute is that? How cute would that be for Thanksgiving or Halloween party? I forgot about that. All right, so you see it's ready. I am way too excited to try this drink. So let's go ahead and pour us some. Right. I'm actually not gonna fill it to the top because I want to leave room for some of those sugar cranberries and some of the fruit. I'm gonna put a few of these in here for sure. I just dropped some, but at least see how pretty they look. Oh yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so good. Let me just get one of these like little sugar cranberries before all the sugar come off. Mmm. Mmm. So it's still tangy, but it's definitely sweet too. Because of, because of what we did with that simple syrup and then, you know, rolling them in that sugar. Mmm. Go. So, you gotta make this. Mm. It is so good. And this drink will definitely be the talk of the party. <clears throat> I'm not joking, I'm not kidding. And, it, and it's so pretty too, that's the thing. Not only does it taste good, it looks super pretty and festive with all of the different colors and everything. I love the cranberries, the the you know apples and everything it's amazing I'm serious don't skimp on the sugar around there it's definitely necessary okay um, everybody's gonna want your recipe I'm not kidding and when I do want the recipe send them my way send them to my video <laughs> no but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you did do not forget to give me a big thumbs up subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys very soon with some new recipes